It's time to add elements to the student's list. Click the Elements link. Currently we only have the two fields that Fabric creates automatically for every list. Click New to add a new element. The name field is what is used in the code, so this needs to use only letters, numbers, and the underscore character. I would also use all lowercase letters here. Label is what is displayed as the identifying label on the form. Element or field types are controlled by plugins. This element just needs a simple text box input field. That's what the Fabric Field plugin does. Notice that when you select a particular type of plugin, the options for that type are displayed at the bottom of the page. We need to select a group for every element. In this case, there is only one group, Students, so I'll select that. In the Input Field options, you can control whether you want the field to be hidden and what default value, if any, the element has. On the Advanced tab, you can select a particular type, such as password, email, or URL. Formatting allows you to control the display of text entered into the field, such as entering an input mask. From the left-hand menu, you can control the publishing options. The default status is Published. Under List View Settings, I would like to show this in the list so I'll set that to Yes. I want the name to be a required field. The way you do that in Fabric is by adding a validation rule. Click Validations and Add. For the action, select Not Empty. You can set an error message to be displayed if the element is not completed. For now, the default values for all the other options are fine, so I'll click Save and Close to save the element settings. Now there are three elements in the Students group. I added the name element using the Elements link on the left, but there are several other ways to add elements. That might be a little confusing at first, but it's actually pretty handy. From the Lists option, you can click Add in the Element column. Notice that the Students group is already selected. From the Forms link, there's also an option to add an element. The Groups link has an Add Element option as well. To view all the elements or to edit an element, you'll need to use the Elements link. But you can add a new element from the Lists, Forms, or Groups options as well. I'll continue adding elements to the student's form to show you several of the field types. This element will be for the gender of the student. I'll set this type to radio button. The group is already preset to students. We'll need to enter the two values in the options tab. Click the plus sign to get a second option here.
I'll do a save and new. This will be for an email address. I'll set this plugin type to field. Group is set to students. Under the advanced tab, I'll set the input type to email. These are HTML5 types that are helpful for mobile users. If the types aren't supported by a device, it will default to the basic text type. I'll add validations here for not empty to make the field required. And I'll add a second validation for is email. I'll do a save and new for another element. I'll add a birth date so we can see how the date element works. Set this to type to date. Group is students. Under the date formats tab, you can control the way the dates are displayed. Next, I'll add a checkbox signifying that the student agrees to abide by the terms of our website. I'll set that to checkbox. Value is the value that will be returned. Label is what will be displayed. Since the label will be displayed here, we don't really need a label here. It's not a required field, so we can leave that blank. And I do want to make that terms element required. So again, we set the action to not empty and enter an error message. For this last field, I'll be using a plugin called User. I'll call it User ID so we can distinguish easily between that and the ID that was automatically created by Fabric. This field will contain the Joomla User ID for the owner of each record. We'll need this field later on. Under Options, I'll set it to display the ID number for now. So I'll do a Save and Close here. Now you can see all the elements that we've added to the students list, which are all contained in a single group called Students. In order to see what this looks like, we'll go to Forms, View Data, and click Add. Here's our full name field with the required indicator, our radio buttons for male, female, email address, which is also required. We have a nice pop up calendar on the date field, a checkbox for our terms, 
If I click Save, we can see the error messages that I entered in the validation rules for each of the required fields. Notice that there aren't any toolbar icons to go back to the fabric control panel. You can use the fabric options from the Joomla menu. Fabric also has its own menu module that I'll install in another session.